Ooh, what's up, guys? Of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your true, of course, this guy render, and also a huge shout out to the new ceiling guy, Daniel, for actually liking my well routine intro. Really. I don't know what it is, but I tend to do that ooh all the time, and uh, it really just flows with it. So I'm very glad you're enjoying that, and I'm very glad for people that have been watching now. What is up, guys? Real nice seeing you here, and today we got ourselves a match against Supreme Total, or other known as Leo. And this guy is more famously for playing more like me, you know, bringing weird sets and having gimmicks really. And this is one of the few times where I feel that I have the better matchup from the start here. And look at my opponent's team here, he got a freaking Pikachu for first of all. He got Jinx, Megadino, Fro, Togekiss and Lilligant. And basically, I don't fear a lot of his Pokemon at all to be honest. I think Fro and Jinx can do a lot of damage on my team, but I'm, that's about it. Uh, I can bring I can deal with... Um, Pikachu to some extent. I do like the speed on this team, so I know Pikachu can kind of come in and do some damage and then get out. So I have to, uh, I have to fin it up properly, really. And um, I myself using Waylord, Blitzel, no, Substriker, uh, Miss Mages, Togekiss, Cradley, and uh, the Guts, Stoutland, or not Guts, but his name is Guts, and he's uh, Intimidate Assault Vest Stoutland. Working really well, super, super chunky and hurts like hell, so it's definitely a great Pokemon to use. Um, without further ado guys, I just went with it really, and was very very just... I was so pumped for this battle because I wanted to try my new team, so with all this in mind guys, let's go. So from the get-go here, my opponent will start with Lilligan, which is really bad, because I start with Tank! The Tank Waylord! And um, yeah, I do stay in here because I do just want to go, get, go for a body slam. I don't take that Giga Drain well. I was so sure he will quiver dance. I was really banged on it. I don't get the paralyzation. And basically, uh, I can't stay in here. It's just, it's too dangerous. I'm gonna go to Chas, the Tokis. Because I can kind of wall this thing out. It doesn't learn a poison type moves. So I know I can kind of stay in. Sure, he, he could probably set up in worst case. But I do pack the nasty plot, so I was thinking, you know, if so, then, you know, I'll deal with that. He's gonna send in his Angel, which is his own Tokis. While I do hit him here with a Dazzling Gleam, and, you know, obviously, I'm not doing a whole lot, and uh, the way he brings it in means that he should have something that could hit me hard, and Asian power is hard enough. And we know with Serene Grace and whatnot, that is 20% of uh, issues. And basically here, I am actually able to wall this thing kind of properly, but I thought that it could be dangerous for me to go for a Volt Switch or anything like that because it does have the Pikachu, it has the Lightning Rod and whatnot. So I just went for Overheat. It's not really doing a whole lot to a Fro now, is it? Fro is so goddamn tough to deal with. Uh, I can't really stress it enough. It's so bulky. So you really have to hit it, have something to hit it head, head on. And uh, sadly, this time I do lack that, but I was thinking that it could go for a Storm Fro maybe. Um, I'm basically just gonna play it really really tough here and hoping that is what to do, but actually hard switch Probably predicting something else. I'm gonna go into Mrs. Winter Which is the Jinx and well, I don't think he's expected me to be a soul vested So I do take this hit Really goddamn well and go into Retaliate with return and luck with me. He's not specs, which is great Because that means that I one shot this Jinx and look at that. I just took that hit so well so anyway, here is the main protagonist of this battle, the Pikachu, the monster. You have no idea how tough this Pokemon were on me. Uh, he's gonna go for Fake Out, obviously, because that's his best move, really. And uh, he get a crit save, which is really, really, really frustrating. But I was thinking, it is a possibility that he will switch out, not feeling comfortable to stay in. So I went for a Volt Switch, I did the play, and uh, yeah, it did... Um, much better shot than Overheat ever could have done. And I'm gonna go back to his guts. Basically, I'm gonna shut down the throw. And to say to some extent, I think a return could kill it. And uh, my opponent is not gonna do like any predictions, anything like that. I think he felt that this is a position where he can't really get out of. He is, has no Pokemon that can take a return. And the throw is gonna go down. Like I said, throw and Jinx were the main Pokemon, his main sweepers for me that I thought I couldn't deal with. I did not account for this freaking Pikachu which will annihilate me if I don't treat it properly so anyway I'm gonna go to Glyph because I do feel that at least take a wild charge and uh, he of course goes for Volt Cycle not wild charge and I take this you know it's not really well now is it but at the same time 
I was thinking I'm still in a good position where I can kind of thin it off. Totally neglect the feeling that it could have brick break. I should definitely go for recover here. I was definitely feeling more comfortable here because I did have a complete team here and his team was definitely whittled down by default. So I go for self rock. There is not very likely I can take another brick break. So I decided I had to switch out to my Gunzai. It's a gem. It's made just, just to really tank that hit and then try to retaliate afterwards. He goes for knockoff. Yeah. That hurts so bad. So goddamn bad. Oh my god. I've never seen a Miss Majors go down that fast. Wow. So anyway, full f I was gonna say about Guts. The Stoutland can come in and uh, intimidate this Pokemon, of course. And um, basically, the only real wall left now is my Stoutland who can... I'm not gonna say that he can deal with it because he, he simply can't. He needs to intimidate on the Pikachu, but he, I know that that is a play that he can make. So anyway, I was predicting him to switch out here, so I'm just going to switch out myself. And he goes with Tokis. I'm now feeling that, okay, nasty, he's going to rely on Asian power. So I can just go for a nasty plot and really, really win this matchup. And Asian power does not do a whole lot. Of course, it is unstabbed and whatnot. So Dazzling Gleam is just double the strength of the move. And after one nasty plot, is truly enough to deal with uh, the Tokis. Um, yeah. I was feeling that you know I could probably roost up here and get in a better position or rather I was hoping for that and uh, truly neglecting the fact that he could go for a roost on his own which he gladly did it and I basically I wanted to have enough HP because well the thing is I knew that the Pikachu is gonna come back so I'd rather see this Pikachu getting as much recall damage as possible and being forced to go for well the, um, the Volt Tackle so he's gonna bring the Willy against here, and I was really surprised about this. I thought, okay, he might go for Healing Wish in worst case scenario. It's either that or Sleep Powder. He does go for the Healing Wish. But I was still not, you know, I wasn't that afraid because I was thinking that he doesn't have real Pokemon that are Willed Down. Besides the Pikachu, of course. And uh, there is not a whole lot I can do against this Pikachu with, without switching in Southland. And uh, basically, Shaz, the Toe oh, it needs to go without Toe Kick. Tick. Damn. I'm like slither. I, I really don't get the name right on these guys. I really don't. But anyway, the Volt Tackle is gonna come, of course, and uh, yeah. That that that's a kill shot. There is no way I'm taking that. And uh, the recall it was not enough. I was really hoping it's gonna do more. But anyway, my safest bet is still to go to Stealth here. And Stealth, like I said, it is the only thing that really stopped this Pikachu from uh, well hurting me like quite a lot. He goes for knockoff here instead of the Volt Cycle. Probably just feeling that he has no real plays left. He only got Pikachu and the Mega Audino left. And um, well, I have enough power to deal with the Mega Audino. So he's going to Mega Evolve straight off the bat. I'm just gonna keep going for attacks. Uh, there is no way for me really playing it differently. Uh, losing Assault Vest might have matter a bit here because I am not able to win this matchup against the Mega Audino. Even though a return do a good chunk here, it's really, really just like one third. Uh, he's gonna go for a wish anyway, and basically he can, well, basically he can wall me out if he decides to do so. And the return, you know, it's close to taking me out, but it's sadly it is, well, not to do. I do survive the draining keys, even though it's a grit, which is really nice, but at the same time there is just, well, even after a return here, it will be in a worse position. But not in a bad position that I will win a matchup, sadly. He will take this. But I still got Pokemon left, I can deal with this. I have Cradley with Slush Bomb, and I have Hank, the freaking tank, the Waylord with Heavy Slam. Especially designed to deal with the Mega Audinos, because Heavy Slam against the Mega Audino is 120 base, which means that this thing will not only annihilate the Mega Audino, it will press it to a freaking pulse. And uh, that is basically GG, so Supreme Toad Lord or really thank you man it was definitely a fun battle and if you guys who didn't see the stream we had a re-battle a few days after this and that Pikachu got his revenge so while I do this one win this one he won the other one and uh, it was definitely a very very close game and that Pikachu was really really tough to deal with so thank you Leo so much so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this battle I sure as hell did uh, it was very fun to use this team for the first time and uh, I was definitely feeling which things that really stands out as a 
clear weakness for that team. And it's just when you design a team, you just want to see what works and what doesn't work, and you know, find the flaws by, well, working it out and see if it actually can fend off things that it wasn't supposed to fend off. Uh, the stuff like that really helps out here. Cradle is super annoying for a lot of people, but uh, yeah, that Pikachu was something I did not, I, I didn't uh, account for that whatsoever, and it turned out to be one hell of a Pokemon to deal with. So it was really funny. It really was. It was a fantastic match. Um, so thank you to Leo, Leo so much for that, and um, yeah, I want to thank of course everybody for watching of course, and if you did like this battle, make sure to leave a like, and uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and you know, as usual guys, you know, the sky's the limit and whatnot, <laughs> take care guys, thank you for watching, bye.